Macaulay Culkin is one of the most recognizable actors in Hollywood, but he isn't the only famous one in his family. Come and get me! You guys give up, or you're thirsty for more? The former child star actually has six siblings and one half-sister, including Succession star Kieran Culkin. The two brothers have taken Hollywood by storm, although Macaulay has become more of a recluse throughout the years. In addition to starring in Succession, Kieran has also made appearances in She's All That, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and more. While some of the Culkin siblings have made a name for themselves in Hollywood, they've also dealt with their fair share of personal loss and tragedy. Macaulay and Kieran first dealt with the tragic death of their half-sister, Jennifer Adamson, in 2000. Eight years later, they suffered another tragedy when their sister Dakota died. Though Dakota did not grow up in the spotlight like her brothers and sisters, they continue to keep her memory alive. Dakota, affectionately referred to as Cody by her siblings, Culkin, was 29 years old at the time of her death. According to TMZ, Dakota was struck by a car while she was walking on the west side of Los Angeles. She later died of her injuries sustained during the accident, which ABC News cited the LAPD as saying caused her massive head trauma. Prior to her death, People noted, Dakota had just moved to Los Angeles and was interested in pursuing a career in film production. Although it's been over a decade since Dakota's death, her memory lives on with her brothers. Macaulay is in a long-term relationship with former Disney star Brenda Song, and they named their baby boy in her honor. The baby was born on April 5, 2021 in Los Angeles. At the time, Macaulay and Song released a statement to Esquire that simply said, quote, "...we're overjoyed." Macaulay previously told Esquire that he has bittersweet memories about his sister on the night of her death because she had watched one of his movies and praised him for his performance. Macaulay recalled, I was like, thanks, go to sleep. And then she went out to go get some Gatorade and cigarettes and she got hit by a car. Macaulay Culkin is not the only sibling who misses his sister, as Kieran Culkin has also opened up about the grief of losing Dakota. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter published on October 6, the Succession star admitted that his sister's death was hard to process. That's the worst thing that's ever happened, and there's no sugarcoating that one. Each one of us handled it very differently. I think everyone was just torn up inside. While time has passed since her death, Kieran told the outlet that the grieving process is never-ending, especially when memories with Dakota pop up in his head, or he has the realization that she will never meet her nieces and nephews, Kinsey and Kieran Jr., Culkin told The Hollywood Reporter. I accepted at the time that this is going to be forever and it's never going to be fine. It's always going to be devastating. I still weep about it out of nowhere. Something funny she did will pop in the head and make me laugh and then I'm weeping. It seems like Dakota Culkin's down-to-earth personality left a lasting impression on those who knew her. While many people aiming to get their start in the film industry would take advantage of having a well-known last name, Dakota seemingly preferred to get by on her own merits. Speaking to People, her close friend and co-worker Andrea Poe stated that while she was proud of her siblings, Dakota remained, quote, low-key about her famous family. Dakota is also remembered fondly for her great sense of humor. Poe added that once she would get over her initial shyness, her friend could be, quote, hilarious. In his interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Kieran Culkin described her as the funniest person in the family, noting her love of physical comedy and her, quote, really dark sense of humor. While nothing can ever quite take away the pain of losing a beloved family member and friend, it's heartening to see Dakota's legacy live on through her loved ones.